Hello you guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to what is the final stop on the Warsaw Manager's journey. Thank you once again for being here, um, it means a lot to me and thank you guys who have been here before and the ones who have followed all the way through the series. Uh, it's much appreciated, uh, it's a series that's done a lot better than I ever thought that it would, um, but we'll go into that a bit later. Um, but yeah, uh, at the moment, just thanks for being here again. So today's episode is just going to be a quick uh, look back over the season, uh, see how we've done um, as a club, as well as just the team on the pitch. And that's why the league table is in the background, because uh, if we start with what's happened on the pitch, you can see that we won the championship, which is uh, much, much, much better than I ever thought that it were going to be for us. Uh, I was not expecting to even be in the playoffs, to be honest. So, yeah, that kind of blows me away. And as you can see with the goal difference, the goals scored, the goals against, uh, not only have we won the league, but we've done it in some style as well. 162 goals for the season. Uh, it's kind of ridiculous in a way. Uh, ridiculous in a good way, though. We did start the season playing some absolutely brilliant football. Uh, we dropped a few uh, games and points towards the uh, latter end of the season, but once we got confirmed as champions, that uh, supreme uh, stylish football came back out again, and we really just enjoyed ourselves for the last few games, uh, which was, in my opinion, well earned. So yeah, on the onside um, part of things, I feel that we've done really uh, on the pitch side of things. Sorry, I feel that we've done really, really well this season. And as we are talking about uh, on-pitch matters and things like that, it seems like a good time now to uh, just have a look at a final look, actually, at the players uh, that have played and contributed to what's been a good season. And a good few seasons, to be honest, because some of these were here long before this season. Um, we've got one or two that have been with us for the entire career mode. Um, yeah, it's been really, really good. Um, ex as I would normally say, if you want to look at these in more detail, obviously you can just pause the videos on the players that you want to and have a closer look at them. Um, we've had some really, really standout players this season. Um, Garcia, one here, uh, he's been brilliant at controlling the midfield and his passing. Morgan here has been, for me, my favourite player to use in the entire series. From the first game that he was in, um, Kinsella here as well, as one of them that I was on about that's been there for the entire season uh, career. But back on to Morgan, from the first time he came onto the pitch out of the Youth Academy, he just felt really, really good, and I could tell that he was going to be special. But this man here, Hardy, has been the absolute standout for the entire career mode. The entire four seasons that we've done, he's only had really just one little dip in his form. The rest of the um, seasons that we've done, he's been beyond his overall for me. His numbers um, speak for themselves and his performances on the pitch when you actually use him. He feels much, much better than what his overall says that he actually is. So yeah, uh, it's been a real pleasure using him. And yeah, Morgan, McKeith and Hardy have probably been my, and Leco here actually, but he has been injured for the majority of it, have been the best players I feel that we've had in the entire series. Um, over the year, we were just sitting on for a minute here, he's been an actual, I feel a bit underwhelmed by him. He was quick and agile, but his touch really let him down. And as we just go back up these uh, up the players now really quickly, you can see that every single one of them has made improvements this season, except for Clark, and I think there's one defender. Um, but he didn't really have time to improve, to be fair. But the rest of them have all progressed nicely, uh, some more than others, obviously. But, uh, yeah, it's good to see that literally everybody's improved. And overall, it was an absolutely uh, joy to use all of these players. 
and especially all in the same squad uh, they gelled really well and like I said that showed in the football this season uh, absolutely super and while we're still on the onside uh, on the pitch side of things I just thought I'd take a look at who it was that actually came up with us and that would be Burnley beating Stoke 3-0 in the playoff finals and while we're looking at cups uh, there's no better time to look at what we have actually achieved this season uh, winning the EFL Cup, the Carabao Cup, um, just about against City on penalties in what was a good game. Um, never thought that we would win a cup until, well, we got into the Premier League at least and established ourselves as a Premier League team. But not only did we manage to win the Carabao Cup, we also went on and absolutely destroyed Chelsea in the FA Cup final as well. Uh, the manner that we did that in was absolutely ridiculous. Um, we'd already gone into the phase where we were just enjoying every game. There was no pressure to win it. My objective was just to improve one more step in the Cups, but we go on to win them. Um, so, yeah, that's absolutely insane, to be fair. The fact that we've managed to win both of the Cups and the fact that in this one in particular, we managed to do it in really, really good style. Um, Chelsea couldn't put a glove on us. It was absolute madness. And while we're still looking at the Cups also, remember we beat Armenians right back at the beginning of the season in the pre-season Cup. So we've actually won the trivector of Cups this season as well as the Championship. It has been absolute insane season on the pitch. Uh, way, way, way better than I ever thought that we would do. Um, all of the objectives that I set myself this season, we just proceeded to go and blow them all the way. Um, so, yeah, um, it's been really successful on the pitch side, I think. And now, as I managed, uh, touched on objectives there, we'll just have a quick overview of what the club wanted us to do this season. Uh, in terms of youth development, we've absolutely blown that out of the water. We've ticked all the boxes there. The brand exposure we did get over halfway but that's something I weren't too worried about as I have absolutely no control over it. And in terms of finance, um, the success I suppose on the pitch meant that we finished what we had three seasons to do in one season. So financially the club's in a real, real healthy place. And the domestic success, going back to the on-the-pitch stuff, um, we managed to tick both the boxes there as well. So in terms of both on and off the pitch, the club is in a really, really healthy position. And what we're looking at now is just a quick look back at what we've actually achieved over the four seasons in this series. As a manager, obviously you can see we've had just the one club. Um, we've done four seasons with them, we've won three league titles in that time, we've won four domestic cups. Uh, if we break that down, there was two leasing.com trophies, there was of course the Carabao Cup and the FA Cup. Right, what it doesn't show you on here as well is we also won the four um, pre-seasons that we were involved in as well. So we've had a really successful time here. Um, we've had 256 games in charge, won 212, drawn the 23, lost the 21. In those 256 games, we've scored a mind-boggling 733 goals. And we've let in just the 206, so we've gone 50 games without conceding a goal, which is a quarter of the games that we've played. So yeah, it has been a really, really successful time. Um, in this point in the video, what was planned was I was going to go ahead and play a match and just elaborate further and talk about what the C series itself has meant to me personally. But as uh, I wanted to do that, I recorded the footage and then clicked the wrong button and it ended up getting deleted. So that might be another video for another day. We might look back at what I do next. We might look at the end of that series. And um, we'll look back over that one and this one combined probably. 
I don't know yet, but as for this video guys, from me, that is going to be all. Thanks for the support on the series, it's been much, much appreciated. I've got some more things in mind to do next, uh, with the next club that we go to. Uh, I'm not decided who it is yet, but in terms of improvements and this and that, I've got a few ideas. And hopefully you'll stick around to see all those come to life. One other thing that I want to mention is there is now a Twitter account uh, registered to 1920 Gaming as well. And there's going to be little snippets and bits and bobs of the career mode that go, the next career mode that goes over there as well. So if you would, uh, if you did enjoy this series, please leave the like and subscribe. Uh, also, if you could follow me on Twitter, that would be great. Um, and I will see you all for the next series. Uh, thanks for watching this again, guys. Uh, have a good day, and that's it from me. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.